All right, it's another bus day. My Uncle Kevin's here. Hi, peeps. We're, We're gonna, gonna get this roof deck frame up. We're gonna build you a nice, We're gonna nice, get this nice done. frame. It's gonna be strong. Following your expertise. Just don't go above 30 videos. miles an hour, okay? <laughs> Side? To figure out where we need to put the thing. Okay. Right here. And this is this. Are you confident that this is where we need to be? I think so. I'm pretty confident in that because. Let's drill a hole. Yeah. Hold that. I'm going to go run and get a sharpie. Okay. okay. Well, we I have the hardware for all this. It's in the garage. So we just, we just marked how high we think it needs to go. So now we're just gonna... We marked this, but we actually want it yeah. to be right on top. Yeah. And then we're gonna drill directly into the metal on either side of where it jets out here. And hopefully it'll be right. <laughs> I need to show you something because there's a challenge surmountable. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Come here, Hunter. This is where we put these holes. This is just for this height. Okay. We want it actually right on top, but the problem is it doesn't rest right to straddle. So if I do like this, mm -hmm. this would seem to fit. If anything, you'd want to go up then down. It's just not going to go over all these bolts. This does not go perfectly where we want it over the bolts. I see. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's assemble one. Okay. Let's, you, were, you were doing that. Let's do that and double check it. Right here, here we go. That one? Got one? Yeah, that one, awesome. That rests. And you still have enough gap on the top to clear the roof? I sure hope so. <laughs> I would go up then. If anything, I would go up further on the rib. Can you clear it by going up further? I'm trying to find a spot. And I wonder though, as, as I, we have to do all of these, yeah. if we're gonna get lucky on each one. See, that's I know. That's the challenge. We will. By going into the ribs, it's tough because these are all these are not equally yep. distant on, on each rib. Honestly, even if we come in here and we drill, we could just drill out one of those screws. You know what I mean? Yeah. We can we can just drill so, drill it out. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got the first hole drilled. Just testing it out here to make sure, you know, it's gonna work out on the interior. So we have our bolt, our washer, and now we're gonna go in and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so it's close really to close the to the sea. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they didn't give us these. It's hardware. If we can, you know. Well, it's got to be custom for. Like yeah. what you're working with? I don't know. I can't get that either. All right. It only took like two hours. <laughs> That's the first test, not bad. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it was a long time no, actually. No. Not exaggerating. Yeah. You always learn a lot on the first one, right? And uh, we definitely did. We got everything screwed in. And uh, we have some butyl tape underneath. What happened though is we have these 
cracked bits and they just took forever to drill the holes through. We have someone going to get some hopefully better bits so we can drill through faster. And then um, we also marked the holes wrong. So when we drilled, we were a little bit off and we couldn't, we had to like finagle to try to get, get the screws uh, or the bolts through. So I think what we're gonna try next is when we set the base, we're gonna hold it in place and then just pre-drill through each hole, um, just a little bit to mark it, and that way we know that it's exact and it's perfect, and that way we don't have to like wrestle with these bolts again. We, um, obviously aren't tightening up any of this yet, um, but let's hope that when we get the next one on that a board will sit nice, nice and flat across this. All right, so we got our bolts, washer, some butyl tape. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I keep doing that. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. <laughs> Like it's stronger the way I said it. <laughs> yeah. It's Billy Mays here, and I have a couple <laughs> drill heads for you folks. <laughs> mm, there we go. Now I've got some movement. All right. All righty, folks. We're here with Kayla and Kevin. <laughs> First choice going on. Let's go. Get the. I'm afraid right. to go up any higher. This is quite a walk. Do you want me to do that side? We are no. very OSHA certified here with our bare feet. I stepped on butyl tape and my shoes got all. Butyl tape. Look at that, kids. All right. So this is the idea. Looks pretty good. There needs to be an overhang off of off of this on your end. Yeah. Because that way we can How have much? the board going this way. At least. Six inches. Five inches. Three inches. What? No, just. Just enough to, to tie in a board going this way now. We right, so. still have that on from last <laughs> night. How has that made it? So we need the right board. <laughs> Look at that. Look how nice that looks. The poles, we're going to drill it out. We're going to put bolts in. We're going to tighten it up. We're going to be done. We're going to go in the boat. Here we're going to go. go swimming. We're going to have fireballs. Yeah! Yeah! Perfect. Let's drill these holes out. Let's take this board down and drill those holes out. And then we're going to look Andy, are you even it. pointing at a camera at the right? Yeah, he's pointing it at me. It's the only angle that Let's keep it going. Let's the keep rock keep star. Keep it going. So Kayla's got something no, to go ahead and edit. No, we're not putting that in the video. Oh, yeah, no, oh my god. god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Harry yeah. Plummer. You are disgusting all of you. Kind of like a city. Thumbing the bit selection. <laughs> Crucial decisions being made now. <laughs> it all rests on the bit. <laughs> Hello! Oh my gosh, so exciting. So Joe Zamar, right there. He yeah, brought the these bolt mahogany bolt. deck wood boards, which we're gonna recycle and use Obviously. on the roof, of course. Sorry, He's working on his birthday. <gasps> it's your birthday? Yes. For today? Oh my God, happy birthday. Thank you. Woo, you gave me presents. This would be really expensive otherwise if we were trying to buy it right now, especially right now. We uh, are going with the reclaimed. Reclaimed wood. <laughs> Thank you to every little thing construction. We do it Ooh. so you don't have to. Ooh. Do I look cool? You look very cool. Nope, you don't look cool anymore. No, no, that was <laughs> so bad. That was my bad. I went. Yeah. I saw power lines and I'm like, let's have some fight. Ramel. And then I hit this huge. Yeah. 
Say cheese. Cheese. So that's going to be the floor. Oh, because you have to fill it up a little. Yeah. Okay. This is like the frame. So, not bad. Took a long time, but we finally got one part of the frame up. And it'll definitely be something we'll keep chipping away at. Get this done. Right? Okay, well, Josie just let us know why it took so long for us to do the other one. Because the drill wasn't a low, you got to put in a high speed. There are speeds on drills? Yes! This is a moment right now where I realize how little I know. messed it up. I messed up the measurement. Too low. They're gonna have to redo it. Don't worry, Josie's gonna fix it. Josie's gonna fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now let's do it. I think it's better now. So. All right, it's a new day. You ready? Mm -hmm. No. Josie, you ready? No, not yet. Not yet? No. He's always ready. <laughs> oh, now I can see 11 and uh, 3 quarters. That's right. I see you through a hole. <laughs> Gonna come help me 
sand down the rest of these deck boards. And don't mean these deck boards, I mean the ones for the roof deck on the bus. Yeah? Okay, let's go. All right, Andy's got the planer all set up so we can sand down these mahogany boards. He's gonna teach me how to do it. This goes ahead and lowers. Okay. And raises the planer. Got it. We're almost perfect. All right, so this is our test board. We're gonna try to find the right height in order to get it really sanded down so we don't have to run the boards through, you know, five times uh, yeah. each board. But yeah, once we get the adjustment right here all set and done, then these boards you should just, be flying through pretty yeah, quickly. Yeah. Also, these this is super loud, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go on the search for some earplugs. Like, so loud. Safety first. <laughs> After one board, my head was ringing. I did 12 boards in a row once. Okay, ready to go. <laughs> about summer snow when it falls on you your blood runs cold but don't you sweat your pretty skin cause it melts away for it sinks in and you dream about this very night when the moon runs down the summer sky could it be the morning of the spring all day but we got seven boards finally back to really good condition no splinter no splinters all right should we do the fade test <laughs> fade test initiated mr fay how does the deck feel <laughs> Oh my, does it feel good? Yeah, take a lay down. <laughs> He's like, the deck is great, but I'm a, I'm a ground kitty. So that's the color of our frame up there. And I was unsure about how the color, this color was gonna work with the cedar color, but looks pretty fresh. What do you say? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people with that combo not much other choice <laughs> yeah not much choice unless we were to stain the mahogany but i just love this color so much so i think we'll keep it we're gonna go ahead and use this waterproofing wood finish transparent clear coat
There's literally, they're everywhere. <laughs> so the reason it took so long to plane all these seven gorgeous boards is because um, we definitely needed some time to figure out that planer. I don't know if it's just because there was so much on these boards initially with the paint and the glue and all that stuff and it just wore out the blades really quickly um, but then the board started to kind of burn and turn like black so we had to keep adjusting how we were doing it how much we were taking off at a time and where we were actually putting it in through the planer so that took us a while to figure that out but we finally got it finally got it and now we're <laughs> ready for the next day that we're doing this so we only have to do this for like 30 more boards. Actually, more well, than 30 boards. It took us all day to figure out how to use the planer. So, yeah. Now, if we have a new blade. Which I've changed the blade on this planer twice. Well, we, it took like two blades multiple days yeah. to figure it out. But now yeah. we actually know what we're doing properly. Not It's just <laughs> light layers each time. Light layers, through. yes, yes. That's what we're doing now. We're doing this project, not only to have a home one day, but uh, to learn a lot. We're learning a lot, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Yes, every step of the way, every step of the way. All right, so hopefully next time we have more boards to show you, then we can go on to the next step. It's a new day. Merlin is gonna help me with these deck boards. What are you eating, squirrels? Merlin, you gonna help me out today, baby boy? No? He's doing the inspections right now. So before I get to planning the rest of these boards, I'm gonna go back to the stack that we actually did finish and I'm gonna cut the ends off and then clean them off and possibly get our clear coat finish on them, our sealer, um, just to kind of see how they come out. So that's what the task is today among a lot of other things. Let's get going. with how this came out. So this is the final board with the clear coat on it and it just pops and it looks so good and so fresh. You would never know that it went from this to this to that. I mean, come on. So it only took like weeks to get this done, but we got all these to get sanded again, stained a little nail holes, wood filler, and then um, and then those will be ready to stain. And these, we still have to continue to plane. So long ways to go, but uh, very excited about this progress. New day, which means more projects. And I'm gonna start with painting the underneath of the roof decks. I picked a solid color, um, this red cedar, because as you'll see, it's uh, 
Not as pretty as the other side. There's a lot of imperfections, and when you're standing underneath the deck and looking up, you're gonna see that, so I figured why not go with a different sealer for underneath, so that way it looks beautiful even from the ground up. Nice, that's a really pretty color. I think that'll do perfect. Oh yeah, I definitely like that. That will do the job. Awesome.